I was trained by weightlifters, not powerlifters, weightlifters. And they taught me that the squat rack was the altar. Okay? I mean, this is the squat rack, okay? And you genuflect in front of the squat rack. It's, it's where life and death will take place in every workout. Every single squat workout I've ever done, I got scared to death. I'm scared. I'm scared shitless. I get anxious, my heart rate goes up, I start sweating. But I wanted it so bad, I was willing to do whatever, whatever it took. High intensity to me is going boldly where no man has gone before, going further than you could ever possibly go for. Failure, real failure. It's a hard place to go, but it's a wonderful place to visit. Go into that room. But, but I believe in being uncomfortable. When you're uncomfortable is when you grow. When you're in the gym, it hurts, when you feel strong, that's when you grow. I believe reps, high rep squatting, can remodel the body. I believe this is true. I was good at three and five reps. I could never do reps. It took me 10 years to learn how to do reps. But I learned things in the gym like one set back. Really one set back. There's nothing. You can get anything you want. You walk out here today, you know, you've won. Imagine walking out the door a loser. I would die. I would rather die than be that loser guy. Think about that. many times where I I looked at myself and said do I really have what it takes I mean I was always wondering if I should keep going and the answer was always I have to I have to I got to get up I got to keep I got to keep moving forward no matter what I always believe in training hard. Real stupid, brutal hard. Some people believe that training to failure is when they want to stop. It's not when you want to stop.
I would squat twice a month. Twice a month. At my very best, my very strongest, that's all I squat. Four, 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 four. Imagine doing 50 reps, you know, with 405 pounds. I mean, it's, it's, your nervous system is fried. only thing that mattered in my life. I was willing to give it that much. And a lot of times I came that close to death. My attitude, the way I walk to the gym in the morning, the way I get in the car, the way I get on the phone, uh, I have a inner confidence. <laughs> 